Maria. Hi, go first. Uh, I'm Takuya Ueda. Uh, let, let me begin my presentation, Static Analysis in Go. This file is uploaded, uploaded on this URL, and I just tweet uh, the URL on my Twitter. Who am I? My name is Takuya Ueda. Uh, it is the first time to stay in London. I'm very happy to uh, give my talk here. My Twitter ID is 1010. Uh, I'm working for Mercury and Sozo. Uh, I'm working in Tokyo office, but we have five branches in Japan, US, and UK. The UK office is located in London. Uh, there are photos of our London office. Mm, good photos. Uh, we adapt Go for some of our products. Our UK engineers also use Go, and of course, I use Go too. Actually, uh, Go's static analysis, uh, which is today's topic, is, it is used for uh, our product. Committees. Uh, I love uh, tech committees. I organize three uh, Go committees in Tokyo, and I, organize, I also organize uh, GC, GCP, Google Cloud Platform community in Tokyo. Go Beginners, Go Lang Tokyo, Go Conference, and GCPAG. Uh, this is uh, today's agenda. I will talk about static analytics, analysis and how to do it in Go. And then I will also introduce how to use static, static analysis for own products. I will show two examples of using st static analysis for our products. Uh, the first case is Go HTTP doc. Go HTTP doc is a testing library using my static analysis library named GPASS. Uh, second, second case is Banatsu. It is, it is a web application which can manage in app banners. Okay. Okay. Uh, firstly, let's play an easy game for ice breaking. Where is this gopher in these gophers? Do you find the gopher? <laughs> yes, here. <laughs> okay, let's move to the next game. Where is gopher in this source code? Do you have any idea of finding the text gopher? Yes, we have grep. You can find the text by using grep. GoFi, GoFi has appear, appeared uh, six times in the code. How about this? Where is gopher type in this code? How do you find gopher type? You cannot find them by using grep. Because grep can touch only touch only by text. The file must, must be under, understood as a Go source code. So we need static analysis. What is static analysis? I'll explain static analysis at the following slides. There are two terms, static analysis and dynamic analysis. Static analysis is, an, is analyzing programs without execution. It analyzes structure of program from source codes. For example, linters, code complement tools, and code formatters. Dynamic analysis is analyzing a program with execution. It can investigate, investigate 
variables and uh, results of functions at runtime. For example, less detector, less detector can detect less condition among several goal routines. If we, uh, I think you know a method to analyze program at runtime, reflection. Reflection is very powerful. Actually, reflection is uh, an only way to get track tags at runtime. You can use reflect package, which is provided provide as a standard library. Encoding package also uses reflection to encode or decode JSON, XML, and so on. There are many static analysis tools for Go. These tools are very famous. As you know, Go Hunt is a code formatter, and Go imports insert or delete import statement automatically. Go bet examine Go, Go source code and reports suspiciously suspicious constructs. Golint Go is a linter for Go, Go source codes, and Guru is a code comp compre comprehension tool, and uh, Go code is Go code complement tool. Error check, check unchecked errors uh, in your code. Go rename and Go move package is, uh, is refactoring tools. Go rename can rename identifiers and go move package can rename uh, package, package name. I think Go is comfortable uh, language for static analysis because uh, uh, Go has static typing, simple syntax, and type influence, and uh, there, there is not in uh, implicit type conversion, and uh, Go package is provided as the standard library. We can know a lot of information with static analysis in Go. Uh, Go package provides many sub, sub, uh, sub packages. Uh, they are used for static analysis. In the next sec section, I, I will explain how to analyze Go source code with these packages. Static analysis in Go. Uh, this is a flow of static analysis in Go. Uh, input data is uh, Go source code. Uh, you can get token from the source code by using Go scanner package. Uh, tokens are represented by uh, token type, uh, which, which is defined in uh, Go token package. Uh, usually, you can sp skip to tokenization because Go parser package use Go scanner package and pass uh, Go source codes uh, directly. Result of the passing is an abstract syntax tree. AST. Go AST package uh, provides types with uh, types which represent uh, node of AST. If you get if you get an AST from Go, Go source code, you can know a structure of the source code and a lot of in, and a lot of information. For example, uh, for, the, for this function. But this function's parameters and but this if statement condition is and so on. Go type package provides a type checker which outputs the type information from ASTs. The type checker evaluates constant values, detects type, ex, type of express, expressions, and resolves uh, identifiers. 
from the type information, you can know where, where this variable is defined and use, use uh, which type of these functions return value, and so on. In the following slides, I will show details of these steps. A tokenizer divides input strength into tokens to be easy to handle in remaining step of static analysis. Token, token represents uh, identifier, uh, operator, reserve, and so on. For example, uh, there is an expression V plus one. Uh, when this expression is given to the tokenizer, uh, the tokenizer ignores white space and divides the string, uh, input string V plus one into three tokens. Uh, identifier V and uh, add operator and uh, uh, integer literal one. The parser converts tokens to an abstract syntax tree, AST. An abstract syntax tree represents a Go program as a tree structure. A tree structure is easy to analyze because you can traverse the, the tree recursively. For example, there are three tokens which represent an expression V plus one. Uh, the parser passes these tokens and outputs an AST, like this. The AST has three, three nodes and the root node, root node is binary XPR. Uh, which is correspond to the binary operation of addition. A binary XPR node has an operator and two ch child nodes, which correspond to operand of uh, the binary operation. An, oper an operator is here, uh, add operator, and two operands are uh, V and 1. The first operand is an ident node, which is correspond to the variable V. The second operand is basic read, uh, which, re which is uh, correspond to uh, the integer literal one. Uh, this is a simplified version of, uh, of AST, which represents a file of Go file, a Go program. The root node is AST file, and uh, uh, it has a, a slice of uh, AST Deco. AST Deco is an interface type uh, which represents declaration of variables, function, variables, functions, and form. Uh, and AST Gen Deco and AST Funk Deco uh, implement AST Deco. AST Gen Deco can be described, described uh, imports, variable declaration, type declaration, and constant declaration. AST funk deco uh, is, is a fun function declaration. Of course, uh, functions have statements as function body, so AST funk deco also has statement, statement nodes as child nodes. Type checker do three things, uh, identifier resolution, uh, type detection, and uh, constant evaluation. You can know many things from type information. For example, uh, where this variable is defined, defined and used, uh, which type this ex expression, and so on. If you want to develop a refactoring tool such as goal name, you can, you can use the type checker. Because when you rename an uh, identifier, you, sh you need to uh, know uh, where the identifier is used in your call. OK, I explained summary of static analysis in Go. Uh, the following slides show more details of static analysis with sample code.
for example, how to get and traverse an AST and how to do type, check, type checking from the AST. Go parser package provides four functions which name begins with pass. Uh, pass XPR, pass extra from, pass file, and pass year. Pass XPR and pass extra XPR from pass, pass an input string as an expression and output uh, AST XPR. Pass XPR is a simple version of uh, pass XPR. XPR from. Pass file, pass file passes a file and returns AST file. Uh, last one is pass the uh, which pass which, which pass files in a directory. Uh, pass the calls pass file uh, internally to pass each file in the directory. Here is a Sample code of passing an expression. Pass, pass XPR accepts a storing, storing value as an uh, ex expression and pass it. Pass, ex pass XPR returns an AST, which root node is uh, AST XPR. If an error is occurred in uh, pass XPR, uh, pass XPR returns the error as second return value. AST XPR type is an interface, and the AST package provides concrete types of expressions, such as AST binary XPR, AST core XPR, and so on. You can use type switching to handle each, each node. The next sample code is passing a file. Pass a file function accepts four parameters. The first parameter is uh, token file set. Because I will explain it in the next slide, I will skip its explanation here. Uh, the, the second parameter is file name, which is used to open the file uh, when the next parameter source code, source code is near. The third parameter is source code. Uh, the constant SRC is storing value here, uh, but the third parameter of uh, pass, fi pass file function accepts an empty interface. Actually, it allows a value which type is storing by slice and uh, uh, I/O reader. The last parameter is passing mode. Uh, here, the passing mode is zero, uh, which means uh, not specified. There are seven different modes, such as import only, pass comment, and so on. Uh, you can check the mode on uh, on the Go doc of Go parser package. Uh, then I, I will talk about the uh, result value of uh, pass file function. The function also returns an AST and error. Uh, the root node of the AST is AST file, which represents a file of Go source code. Okay, I've skipped the explanation of uh, token file set. Uh, I, I'd like to explain, explain, explain it here. Token file set is re recording position in source files. Uh, position of a token or uh, AC node uh, represents by integer value uh, as token, token pose type, like this. A value of token pose is unique among multiple files. Because token file sets hold the offset of each file, uh, it can map a value of token pose type to information such as which, line, which file, which line, which columns. Token, fi token file set records uh, this, this offset at the passing time. So passing functions accept token, token file set uh, as an output parameter. OK. 
Okay. I explained how to get AST from files and uh, expression. Now let me show a demo. The demo pa passes a Go source code and dumps the AST, AST over it. Uh, there is a Go file. Do you remember this file? Uh, our motivation is searching Go file type from this file. But we try to do it step by step. Let's look at a uh, uh, sample code. Okay. We can use uh, pass file to pass a file. Uh, here, the second parameter of pass file is name of the file, gofile.go. And uh, uh, we can get an ASD. Uh, but uh, but uh, we don't use, uh, but, but uh, we don't analyze here. Uh, we ju uh, we I just uh, dump uh, the AST to the standard output by using uh, AST print function. Okay, let's run the, this program. Okay, uh, the pro program dumped uh, the AST. You can see that the AST has uh, AST file uh, as root node, and uh, AST file has uh, some uh, slice of uh, decal. Uh, we can get AST from source code. Uh, I think you want to know how to analyze the AST. I will show them in the following slides. This sample code traverses an AST of expre expression V plus one and prints the type of each node. Go AST package provides function which traverses an AST from the given node. AST, AST inspect is one of these functions. AST inspect uh, accepts uh, two parameters. Uh, the first parameter is a node of AST. The traversing begins from this node, and the AST inspect function calls the function of second parameter, recursively, to traverse the tree. The function of second parameter uh, receives a node and returns a Boolean value. When, when you only describe the function, uh, AST inspect function applies a function uh, to each, each node recursively. The Boolean value, which is returned by the function, it indicates uh, whether uh, AST inspect function need to apply the function to child nodes of the, cur of the current processing nodes or not. Go AST package also provides uh, AST walk function, which is more powerful but more complex than AST inspect function. A AST inspect function is a sim simplified version of AST walk. Actually, uh, AST inspect function is using AST walk uh, internally. Of course, you can traverse AST by using own function recursively. There is a, uh, there is a sample of own traverse, tra traversing function. Because AST node type is an interface, you have to switch processes by concrete type of 
the node uh, like this function uh, like this function okay uh, we can advance the demo on the next step the second step of finding gopher type uh, is inspecting identifier by traversing an ASC. This is a uh, this is a co uh, code of this step. Passing the file is the same with the previous step. Let's look at the switch statement in the inspecting function. And this code handles the AST, AST ident node and checks whether the name of identifier is gopher or not. If name of the identifier is gopher, the code prints the position of the node. Pause method. Uh, pause method uh, of the uh, of the node returns token pause value, which indicates position in passed file. Position method of the token file set receives a um, token pause value and returns the token position value. Token position value is struct type which has file name, line number, column number, and offset as fields. Okay, let's run this file. The program prints a position of nodes, the, their identifi identifiers, and uh, their, their name are gophers. Uh, each line means file name, line number, and column number. This result uh, matches to the result of grep. Uh, we want to extract only gopher type from the result of previous step, previous demo. The type checking solves it easily. Go types package provides the types and functions for the type checking. Types config type is a type for configuration of the type checking. Config config has check method which do uh, type checking. For a, for, a mess, uh, for a package. Check method receives uh, four, uh, four parameters. The first parameter is package name, second parameter is file set, and the third parameter is uh, ASTs, uh, which uh, pass from uh, the source code. Last parameter is output parameter, which hold results of type checking. If we want to get the result of that type checking, you should initialize views of the uh, types info. Check, met check method returns the package info and uh, an error. Uh, there is a definition of uh, types info type. Most fields of it uh, map. Check, check method uh, puts results of the type checking into each field if it is initialized. For example, if you want to get position of identifiers, uh, position of identifier definition, you should initialize def. Okay, I will show the last step of our demo. Okay. Let's open demo3.go. Most part, part of course is same as pre previous step. Uh, there are two different points. Uh, the first point is uh, the type checking. This code do type checking with type info. 
which is initialized with def and uses. Our motivation is finding places which are uh, defini defining or using uh, Gopher type in gopher.go. The second point is using the result of the type checking in the inspecting function as a condition of if is different from the previous step. Uh, is name function examine uh, whether type of a given object is a named type or not. Okay, let's run this program. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, three times. Uh, Gopher type is appeared in this code three times. Five line uh, uh, sixteen and uh, seventeen. Uh, I explained how to do static analysis in Go and showed some sample and demos. Then I will I will show two two use cases of static analysis for uh, our our product. The first case is uh, GPass and go HTTP doc. Mercury, uh, which I belong, I, I belong, published a testing library as go.mercury.io go HTTP doc. Go HTTP doc generates API documents from uh, test, test of HTTP handler, like this. We often forget to update API documents and they may not update since. Go HTTP, HTTP doc is very useful because we just write unit tests of HTTP handlers. Go HTTP doc, Go HTTP doc generates API documents automatically from this, te this test code. Thanks to Go HTTP doc, we don't need to update API document no longer. Go HTTP, HTTP doc also, also supports uh, gRPC and JSON RPC. This is a sample of a test case for a request body. Request and response can be tested by specifying a field name and the expected value and the document for each field. For example, this sample called test email field of attributes. Whether it equals to uh, 1010 at example.com or not. Go HTTP doc allows any nested field and they can be described by an expression of Go. In reflection, all values and types are represented by reflect value and reflect type. You know, so uh, reflection of nested struct, nested struct field is hard to verify each, each field. Then we develop a library which can do deflection nested struct uh, with uh, goals expressions. The library called GPath, which is published on my GitHub repository. GPath ma makes it easy to do reflection nested struct. GPath supports maps and slides, but types of keys and elements are restricted. You can only use integer and uh, strings for key uh, or maps. Uh, this is a sample code of GPass. There are two struct types, foo and bar. Foo type holds uh, a pointer to value of bar as a field, and bar type holds an int slice as a field n. 
this sample code accesses the field n with, re with reflection by at function. The at function has two parameters. Uh, first, the first parameter is the target value of the reflection. And the second parameter is an expression, which is used for the reflection. At function passes a, a given expression and traverses the IST to the reflection a given value. At function accepts a value f and uh, bar dot n zero here. So v becomes uh, uh, 100. I think static analysis Static analysis to reduce the cost of code reviews. You can find many static analysis tools as offshore, offshore tools and third party tools. And you can also develop own tools with Go package. For example, you can develop a customized linter for your project and detecting, uh, detecting tools of typical bugs and so on. Uh, thanks, to the, thanks to these tools, you may pay your time for more important things. I will introduce the second case of use, using static analysis for our products. Banner tool. The banner tool is a management tool of in-app banner. This is a screenshot of our app, Mercari Atte. This is this this app displays in app banner on the timeline. The banner tool is used by several of our, our app, Melgari, Melgari Ate and Melga Kao. The banner tool can be set a delivery condition and a response for each banner. A delivery condition this decided whether the banner can deliver or not. A response is used, used in client of banner tools. For example, a response can hold an image URL of banner and destination URL, which is used for transition when the user types the banner. Delivery conditions can be described in a Go-like expression in the banner tool. The banner tool evaluates delivery conditions of each banner to decide which banner which banners deliver. Delivery conditions often include variables such as OS. When a delivery condition is evaluated, the banner tool binds values to variables uh, which is appears in the expression. The value is getting from a request parameter. For example, a banner is registered on the banner tool uh, with delivery condition is uh, storing OS equal equal uh, one. When the banner tool receives a request uh, with a parameter OS equal one from an app, the banner tool bind one to variable OS. So the expression becomes one equal equal one. And finally, the expression is evaluated as two. It means this banner can be delivered to the app. Okay. Let me conclude my talk. I explained static analysis and how to do it in Go. Uh, static ana analysis is very easy to do in Go. Because Go provides Go package which can tokenize, pass, and type check, you can use static analysis for your products. Uh, actually, I showed two cases of, uh, uh, I showed two other cases, uh, GPass and Banatsu, in this session. Okay. Thank you for your attention.